think we're live. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to another <laughs> Thursday evening with us. We are the women from Simply Made Local. Welcome. I'll introduce us. I'm Abby. Ryan. <laughs> Taylor. Trying something new there. <laughs> <laughs> and down there is Carrie. <laughs> I said Carrie. Oh, I didn't <laughs> so we're all here. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to another Thursday night live with Simply Made Local. Uh, we are an online handmade virtual marketplace. We are an Etsy alternative, um, a home for all of you crafters and makers out there that make incredible handmade products. We are that home. We are that virtual marketplace open 24 seven. We always have a booth ready for you on the site, <laughs> as you would say. Um, you know, a lot of us aren't really able to get into physical marketplaces right now. So Simply Made Local is just a really nice place to have um, a, a store. You're going to get a direct shop link to your store that you can go ahead and uh, use in your marketing on your social media. Uh, your customers can shop directly to your store. Uh, so it's a really, really nice feature, really easy to use. We've got an, a lot of products on the site. Um, we've got new makers joining us every week. So we have a really nice size creative community. So if you're looking for a new place to sell your handmade goods, please come check us out at simplymadelocal.com. But tonight and every Thursday night here on Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we come to you with a new and trending project, craft as a way for all of us girls to get together and just do what we love, take some time and craft together. So um, yes. so thank you for joining us. And we're just gonna let a couple people uh, join along with us. Yes, <laughs> don't forget to help us out and share in those groups. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what we all do when we get started on these lives. We usually get started by sharing in groups. We start our watch parties. Um, that helps these videos get seen. And um, of course, we want everyone to see these videos um, and we want everyone to share along. So that's usually what we're doing in the first couple of minutes here. So we're not being rude. We're not ignoring you. <laughs> it feels kind of weird. Like you start this live video and you're like, yeah, come hang out with us. And then we all go like Boop, to our computers. So just in case like, you're wondering, hey, that's what we're doing. Like, <laughs> yeah, it just feels, it almost feels like you're on a date and you're like, hi, nice to meet you, da, 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 and then you're like on your phone. So just, <laughs> we're not being rude. That's, this is, <laughs> this is what we're doing. Um, but I would encourage you all, um, you know, during this whole video or during this whole live, we, we love to talk to you guys, you know, just because we're on here and we are, um, you know, doing our craft and everything. This is our way to communicate with all of you guys. And this is our way of essentially crafting with, you know, a big group of everyone and with all of you. So I'd love for you guys. And I know that all of us would love for all of you to get on here and tell us where you're from, um, post, you know, the direct links to your guys' stuff. Um, we want to see what you guys make. We want to see what you guys do. We know that you guys are talented. We know that you guys, you know, have amazing stuff that you guys do and make, um, post it. Let's get talking about it. We want to know where you're from. We want to know what you do. Um, and we'll shout you guys out during the live. We'll talk to you guys. Um, we want this to be as interactive as possible. I mean, obviously, like, yeah, we're here crafting, but we want to talk to you guys. Um, so get on here and, and make this as interactive and as fun as possible. So um, where are you guys all from? We're all from SoCal, if you guys don't already know that. So right now we're dealing with <laughs> Some weird stuff. I mean, I know weather is just weird in general, but we're kind of yeah. Dealing we're with like at a time of the year where the winds are crazy because it's shifting yes. from summer to fall here, and so it's like Santa Anna's and stuff. And so we've got then fires, fires. And, and then so That's our crazy. weather can't decide can't decide if it's cold, can't decide mm -hmm. if it's hot. So we're still like at that weird point. Um, so it's like that point where you don't know if you're going to need a jacket on Halloween or not. And I feel like that's how it is every single year. You're kind of like, should I bring a jacket? Should I not? I don't know. Bring a cardigan. You'll be Hi, Hi, Robin. Yeah. Oh, Patty's joining us from Wildemar. Welcome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so she's local. That's awesome. Started here. 
Uh, we have a really exciting project tonight. Um, so as you guys are kind of shouting out what you guys do, if you're a maker, let us know what your favorite craft is. Also, if you guys have any um, really fun project ideas, we'd love to bring something different here each week. And we do take requests. So let yes. us know if there's anything that you'd like us to bring on here. Um, just yes. before Ryan yes. lets us know what we're doing tonight, lets you guys know what we're doing tonight, um, I just want to remind you that, um, kind of weird, you're seeing four people here, but I assure you, you're going to have fun tonight with us. Uh, and this is just a really <laughs> great way for you to be able to see four different projects in one video. You're not going to get to see that anywhere else. We're a little different. We're all four. We um, all have a very long history of crafting. So you're going to get to see four very different um, styles wow. of crafting in one video. So as you're watching along, you can pay attention to just one square if you want to see how to do that project particularly. Or, um, you know, you can, after the video is done, rewind, fast forward, and watch all four very closely. So we... Um, invite you to get comfortable, grab a project of your own or uh, something to drink, and we're about to get started. So Ryan, why don't you tell us what we're doing tonight? So we are making holiday-themed uh, reversible signs using uh, mostly dollar store products. So two of us are, well, this year, I have to say Dollar Tree really stepped it up a notch with their yeah. calendars. So most That's of us sure. are doing a uh, calendar base. We're using the really cute photos from the calendar. Like, for instance, I'm using um, this farmer's market calendar. My, I'm using two pages out of that. I think Abby's using one and Taylor might be using one. Or, yo, know, Taylor's using the Simply Blessed. No, I'm oh. using this one. I just, I have this one on hand too. So I thought yeah, I'd show all one. three. I even got this one with all the, with all the wine because we all <laughs> So all of them have really, really beautiful yeah. photos. And it was a fantastic deal for a dollar. You essentially got 12 pieces of beautiful scrapbook paper is how I thought about it. And I will use, yeah. you might see other projects with this stuff. Um, the biggest difference uh, that we are is two of us are using like a double-sided reverse canvas kind of situation. And then Taylor and I are doing like just a sign that we had. That Taylor's awesome husband made for us. Thanks, Zach. Yeah, thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we're going to be painting and then applying the um, whatever picture we decided to put in here. Uh, Carrie's wonderful husband made her some custom ones. So she's even got some really cool stuff. So. Yeah. I just painted them right on and yeah, That's what we're doing. Design them for me. So Wait, did we painting. did we talk about the fact that Patty makes gnomes? I'm sorry to cut you off, no, Carrie. We didn't. I was going to mention that when we talked about Patty. Yeah, Patty, Patty makes fantastic gnomes. gnomes, like really good gnomes. Patty, we yes. love gnomes. Small town gnomes. <laughs> That's amazing. Sorry, <laughs> Those are I'm gnomes. sorry. Before I didn't want to lose that before we got too far into this. <laughs> yes. We love gnomes. We actually um we made our um which one was it? Saint Patty's Day. We did Lenny. the same one. Those are really cute. <laughs> and I think, didn't we do a couple for Christmas last year too? The little, like, um, the little ornaments? ornaments on the wood um, round. Yeah, we, so we did a couple really of those fun. too. So, so fun, um, but very difficult. So good for you, Patty. That's awesome. Those are, those are fun. So cute. So trendy, but not easy. So no, good for you. Yeah. All right. Like Sorry, Gary. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, me? Yeah. So I have my fall in love. So I don't know if you guys can see all the detail there, but he really went out. Like they awesome. made things, and he did so. And then I have C's and greetings. Yeah. <laughs> so bringing so that beachy that vibe too. to the holidays. I love that. <laughs> okay, so I just want to start by saying how kind of excited I was to do this project. Um, a little, little different, but. I just think it was so neat. We were going through um, our Pinterest boards. So if you guys haven't um, already been over to Pinterest.com, definitely go there. Check out us at Simply Made Local. We have over 100 boards of all the most inspiring craft projects, ideas, motivational tips, uh, business tips, everything that you can pretty much think of, life 
all of life <laughs> on our boards. <laughs> yeah, um, and I just uh, did some refreshing, which is like halfway going. I'm like refreshing board covers, trying to keep it fresh. We got a new video up on there, new photo. Like that's awesome. we keep it up to date and fresh. So please yeah. keep coming back. Yes. Um. So we were going through that. We're trying to uh, decide, you know, our schedule for our live projects, and the, uh, the reverse signs came up, and I thought, how neat is that, especially for somebody who likes to be a little bit more organized. Um, enjoys less clutter and uh, doesn't have a lot of space or storage, reverse signs um, are, are pretty neat. Uh, we are going to be creating two signs tonight that you'll be able to hang on the wall on one side and then when you're done or when the next season comes, you'll be able to flip it around. You'll never know if there's anything on the back and boom, you've got a whole new sign. So yeah. when I was walking through Hobby Lobby the other day, I noticed they've got some beautiful Christmas signs out right now and they're like $40 and you know that they always have all of their holiday stuff 50% off so we're talking 20 bucks for one sign so mm -hmm. today you can get canvases from the Dollar Tree um, I actually purchased these canvases because I wanted this particular square um, from Hobby Lobby and it was five dollars for two so it was only $2.50 um, per canvas so we're talking five dollars for the canvas one dollar for the um calendar i already have the mod podge so we're talking six dollars for two signs for two different seasons i just <laughs> thought that is amazing we got to do that so here we are tonight um we have four different ways of doing it we're gonna jump in and get started i think we went over all of the supplies the only thing that i wanted to add is i am doing um the reverse canvas and this is a whole project in itself i think actually so the way that yeah. this works is that you're actually i'm going to remove the canvas from the wood frame that's inside of this inside here and then i'm going to flip it around and make that be almost like the framed um of my portrait so you're going to need some tools to do this because it is a little bit of a job to get started so you're going to need a flathead um screwdriver you know, yeah. I, I also have to tell you just, just a quick tip if you don't have that. I was able to get it out with my stapler remover. Oh, yep, yeah, that works too. And I'm a yeah. nurse, so I do have a pair of these <laughs> on hand. So between this and this, I was able to get out these staples super easy. Um, I did need scissors. I've got some paint to paint my uh, frame, paint brushes, and uh, Mod Podge and water, water, because um, I'm not doing a stain on my frame. I'm actually going to use watered down matte paint. So you'll be able to see how we do that. And it really gives this really cool stain effect. So uh, I'm going to get started. Um, let's see. So just real quick, while they get started on their projects, I'm going to let you know, I'm going to be taking out all of the staples. So as you can see here, these are the staples that keep mm. that in. I'm going to pop all these off and I'm going to take this canvas off. So that's what I'm doing over here. Ryan, how are you going to get started? I'm just going to get started. I will put this down. I um, I thought we could usually go best with it. So I mixed up a gray um, with some elephant Waverly, some mineral, and some plaster. Mm. So I'm not going to do like a stain effect. I think I'm just going to like fully paint mine because I'm a rebel like that. <laughs> um, what's kind of nice about these frames too, the, the way that um, Ryan and I have them, is I can messily, like, I don't know if, if that's a word, um, but I can paint and get paint on the back portion as well because this is going to be covered up by the actual page itself. Um, normally when I do these, um, I have to pre-stain the frames before my husband puts these together because I'm usually then having these painted white and then I do some sort of scripting or design or something on here. But when you're Mod Podging, it's actually really easy and you can be kind of a little bit more messy. So I really actually like the way that I can do that. If you want to explain a little bit, Taylor, how you made those boxes in case anybody wants to make it that way? Um, sure. So my husband's kind of the mastermind behind this, but um, these are uh, one by twos. And then this is just um, thin, like plywood type wood. Um, and he cuts out all of the corners and then he, or out of um, all the edges. And then he and hopefully he's on watching. So maybe he can do a description in the comments. Um, and then he does the angles 
and then he does a um a notch on the insides of um, the one by twos and he slides the wood into the inside and then he puts nails into the edges or into the corners so it makes like a perfect box but you'll see there's a ledge on each side so the reason why we like this one is because it is fully reversible and you can actually hang it up on the wall on either side so when we first started doing craft shows um and signs are like our big thing it took us a long time to figure out our design we didn't know um, exactly what we wanted to do as far as um, our signs went. We just knew that we wanted it to be reversible and we knew we wanted people to be able to hang them without having to put hardware on the back because I knew that was a gigantic pain in the butt. And for me, I want to be able to just literally throw this on the wall, take it off, put on another one, whatever I want to do, just pretty universal. Um, and so it took us a while, but we finally found this design that worked for us. And this is just, it's worked for us for years now. So um, hopefully he's on and maybe he can put up the, um, the description. <laughs> um, good. So here are two different options. If you are handy and handy with wood, then you can make your own sign that way. But if you're looking for something that's, um, a little easier, uh, you can do these reverse signs with the canvas and you can do this with any size. And I will tell you, I have done these with the uh, canvases from the dollar store. So don't don't uh, don't be worried just because they're a dollar. They still work great. They some are a smaller size, but you're gonna get a really nice sign. Um, yeah, these those. ones that I uh, did for the example were from dollar store. So yeah, I mean, they're smaller, they're too small for this particular project for the calendar. But I'm gonna do a different sign for that. Okay. I use reverse canvases a ton too. So. It yeah. just depends on what look you're going for. Um, I just have, I'm personally like very blessed to have Zach who can work with all the wood and stuff, but there's a lot of times where he's busy and I don't feel like waiting for him to make it out to the workshop. So, um, and honestly, I should just go out there and like learn how to do this stuff myself. But that's, the thing is, is the second I start to pull out the power tools, then all of a sudden he's not busy. So, you know. <laughs> um, Okay, so I'm just removing the canvas now from this and look what is inside behind that canvas, you guys. Look how cool that is, how pretty this frame is. So oh, now yeah, I'm just gonna take nice. this and I'm gonna switch this canvas over and I'm going to use the sign like this. And I'm gonna do two of these. So you're gonna need two of these canvases deconstructed and then they're gonna be back to back with the sign uh, Mod Podge in the middle here. So now I'm going to get started on staining this wood and then I'm going to um, start to apply the calendar page to the canvas. I'm trying to get bubbles out. Just painting away. So what are you doing right now, Carrie? Um, I'm trying to Mod Podge this thing down, but I am running into kind of a lot of little bubbles and I even did the water trick so I'm just kind of trying to smooth it out a little bit but at the same time I almost kind of like it that way so that see. is so neat so did you apply Mod Podge <laughs> to the underside first I did I put Mod Podge down on the canvas because I'm just doing a straight up canvas because these staples were fighting me so I gave up and decided to just do it this way so this is like Super simple sign making tonight with Carrie. <laughs> okay. Right. But yeah, wrinkles are plaguing me a little bit here. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the stain look. And how you're going to get that is um, you've already you're already seeing um, Taylor do that, but you're going to use your matte paint. I have Waverly uh, chalk paint, and I'm not even sure what. Oh, this isn't truffle, and I'm just going to use truffle all by itself here put a little here and then uh, I'll just be watering that down and kind of dry brushing it. And I did the same thing. I just took, um, I took a few different paints cause I wanted more of like a, a grayish. <laughs> I took some grays and browns and I mixed those together until I got the color that I wanted. Um, and I did the same thing as Abby and I added some water until it was the consistency that I liked till it was thin enough to where when it dried I would still be able to see some of those knots and um, the natural wood look. Um, 
Well, also, I like Carrie, I want I wanted to bring up really quickly um, with mm -hmm. those with the bubbling and the um, some of the bumps and lumps that you're seeing. Right. You should also remember that when it dries completely, some of those will will go away. Okay. It's actually kind of giving it this sort of vintagey kind of wrinkled look, and I actually am kind of digging in it. Okay. <laughs> and the paint or the uh, ink is smearing just the tiniest bit, but it's actually like kind of smearing into the color. Really cool. That oh, happens, well. accidents, you guys. There's a lot of happy accidents happening over here. Yeah, what's really nice <laughs> about Bob doing Rossi this, um, <laughs> this stain uh, technique is that you're you you can't really mess it up. Yes. Uh, if you uh, make a mistake in any way, just go back and apply a lot of water and just really um, thin it out. Yep. Yeah. No, it's working I'm out. just letting my tape dry before I put my uh, calendar pieces in. And I'm going to use up some leftover paint on something else so it doesn't go to waste. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out too is what to do with the edges if I want this to just kind of look like their canvases, like printed canvases, or if I want to do something with the outside of them to kind of marry the frames together. But we'll see when I get that far. <laughs> this one's also going to wait to speak. So to speaking me. of somebody who likes um, to craft with wood, we put out a new t-shirt, everybody. If you haven't been over to the website, you definitely should go check it out. Simply Made Local opened up their own uh, merchandise store, and we've got some really fun stuff, um, especially my favorite is this large craft um, ba uh, tote bag. So if you're looking for a, a gift for yourself or a gift for somebody um, in your life that's a crafter, this extra large craft bag is just amazing. Um, you can fit all of your craft supplies and go on the go with this bag, um, or you can pretty much put anything in it, a computer, all sorts of stuff. So it's just a really neat universal bag. But we came out with a new design. Uh, we were working with a very talented artist, um, Maxine. She is available on Instagram at um, MyMaxDesigns. You can find her there. She's just a very talented artist. And we did collaborate with her to work on some designs for the Simply Made Local store. Uh, and our newest one is one for our wood crafters out there. So if you haven't seen it on our social media, on Facebook and Instagram uh, last week, you definitely should go over there and check it out because it is, yeah. it's a really nice one. Really and nice it's, um, it's very, it's great for guys or girls whichever. It's just a really nice design. So thank you to her. And all of our products are assembled by an amazing company who really worked with us. They had really fast shipping, really great um, customer service, and really great pricing. And that is um, Promo Merch Now. You can find them on Instagram as well as their website, promomerchnow.com. If you need any projects um, or products, that you want to personalize to sell or um, give away for the holidays coming up. If you're a business, I definitely recommend them. They yeah. even have really cool light up stuff, which I think is really yes, neat. I haven't yeah, seen they do. Before. That is so neat. I was, I almost bought some shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I no. still might buy some shoes. I, I think that that might happen. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. This is the first photo that I'm going to do. Mine's going to be the moon. Um, so we are moving here. Well, it's not going to be until the beginning of next year. But I'm making this for decor for the house for probably next year. So I'm going to be doing this moon photo. And then the other side of mine is going to be this pumpkin. So it's going to be pretty universal for um, Halloween and then more fall. I guess I could still put this up for You're like Thanksgiving. Be very farmhouse yeah. style, anyways, and that pumpkin can go up all year long. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm kind of thinking that I can probably put this pumpkin up um, until you know this year, even after Thanksgiving. So Absolutely. until Thanksgiving, I should say after Halloween. 
Okay, so there you got, there you have it. I love the way this turned out. This was just um, watered down brown paint and I was still able to really get um, those knots to pop out and really give it like a, a really natural, natural stain uh, look. So very happy with that. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit. And while I'm working, um, letting this dry, I'm gonna work on um, applying my photo to the um, canvas. Hey, mine's almost dry for me to start mod podging. I will say when you do the watered down technique, it does dry a lot quicker. Yeah. And it doesn't smell as bad as stain. No. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, no. Even though I stain in my house all the time, I don't care. I open the window. <laughs> and if it's <laughs> Yeah, I, I was know. banned. I was banned. I don't think they can do that. <laughs> Unless I do never that. know what smells or sounds are going to be coming out of my craft laboratory. I should make a sign <laughs> on the door that says that. Just yeah. keep walking. <laughs> don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. No. I don't know where I put this to dry. Okay, so to get started with this, obviously I'm not gonna need all of this canvas. So I'm gonna cut this bad boy down and I'm going to cut it um, almost to the natural crease of where that canvas um, was laying before. So I'm going to start out by doing that. Cause I don't wanna waste all my extra Mod Podge. <laughs> right? That's oh my crazy. goodness. So you guys, these are all looking so good. Oh wow, Taylor. I love that moon on that gray. That was Doesn't that look good. So one little thing I will say is that these um, calendar pieces or um, photos, they do have these little dots, obviously, because they're calendars. So yeah. one thing that I um, am going to do to mine is I'm going to probably paint this in order to match so that you can't tell from afar. Um, yeah, I was gonna do that too. So just keep that in mind. But then again, just think you're getting an entire calendar worth of really cool prints um, that are, you know, holiday related for a buck. So just yeah. keep that in mind. So yep. neat. Yes. Ooh, these these are are great. What a great. And try. some of these can absolutely be cut down. So like with this one, I didn't want to cut the moon on this one because it's too close to the, the hole at the top. But like with this one, I can trim off my excess at the top and then I won't have to worry about the hole there. So, yeah. All right. So I am ready to apply. So now I'm just going to apply my thin layer of Mod Podge and then um, I will just set this right on top. I would recommend having an exacto knife. I can't find mine, so that does. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what I was gonna say right now is, oh man, I am so excited to be sitting down and crafting because I love that we have designated Thursday nights as being some craft time. Because when you're busy and you're on the go, you own a business, you have children, you have work. Um, it's hard to designate that time. So. I'm happy to be here because we have been working so hard, you guys. You guys don't even know. Uh, behind the scenes, we are excited. Some of you know this. Uh, if you uh, are in our newsletter, um, you know that Simply Made Local is hitting the road next week. Woo! We're so excited. We're traveling. We're a four-man show. <laughs> um, we are going to Utah, U Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, next week, we will be there for the Pinners Convention. Um, now, if you are asking yourself, what is the Pinners Convention? It is, think of Pinterest exploding into real life. Yes, that is what it is. Um, we are going to this convention where we will be, um, we will have a booth. So we're, we're Simply Made Locals being featured there. We are bringing um, our, our virtual marketplace to the people um, and just spreading the, spreading the word, getting the name out there, telling everybody about how amazing Simply Made Local is and just really sharing with everyone how, um, all of the great products that are on the site. So we really just want to advertise all of the amazing vendors and their products 
because we are makers, supporting makers. Are we would be nothing without you guys, and we just want to help you guys to be um, as successful as possible. So we will be out there talking with crafters. Pinners Convention is a place where you can go and shop all handmade products, but it's also a place where you can go and learn the latest uh, techniques on new crafts or old crafts even, just putting applying a new technique on an old craft to make it more efficient, uh, more time efficient, and that way you can sell handmade products or you can just be a really fabulous crafter um, <laughs> doing stuff in your home. So I just think it is just such a wonderful opportunity. We're going to be there along with so many other artists. And um, so stay tuned. Uh, it is November 6th and 7th. It is next Friday and Saturday. If you want to join, if you are in the Utah area, uh, you can go on to pinnersutah.com or pinners.com and go to Utah. Uh, you can get yourself some tickets. 50% off with our promo code SHOP. Um, and so you're going to be able to come and join SHOP and play. And it's just going to be a really amazing time. You're going to get to um, just meet a lot of really neat people. Uh, so you'll be able to kind of, uh, you know, mingle, get out and mingle. And they've made sure to uh, abide by all of the safety precautions that are going to be necessary for everybody to be able to come and enjoy and be safe all at the same time. I don't know about you guys. I'm dying to get out of the house. I'm dying to uh, get back to being around other crafters. And I'm so glad that they're giving us a really safe uh, way to do that. So please join us. If you're not able to come to Utah, don't you worry, we are going to be recording the entire experience on our YouTube channel at Simply Made Local on YouTube, as well as on Instagram and Facebook. So next week we will not be crafting because we will be in the, in the part of setting up for our booth at the Pinners Conference, but we will be coming on live um, next week just to talk about how everything is going and uh, check in with you guys. So we'll still be here um, and we'll let you know if the time changes, but we will be on next Thursday. So mine did bring up pretty good too, girls. But it's fine. I think it kind of gives it more of a, a rustic-y feel. Yes, absolutely. Did you pre-water yours, Ryan? Uh, yeah, it still did it. Okay. Yeah, so um, I think it's just yeah. because the paper is the just so thin here. Yeah. Um, so I did that. I tried that technique, which works really great with scrapbook paper. Um, yeah. If you want to see that technique applied, you can take a look at our YouTube channel um, at Simply Made Local, and you'll be able to see some of our older um, videos where Ryan does a fantastic job of applying scrapbook paper with Mod Podge and using that water <laughs> technique really, really helps out there. Um, yeah, put it down a million times like that and never had it, but this paper is significantly thinner. So just be aware like that. that's probably the effect you're going to get. Yeah, so with this one, um, if you use watered down Mod Podge, you probably are safe to just put down this really, really thin paper um, just right on. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I did my first one using the water technique and I'm doing this one without. So we're gonna see how that right, is going to look. So I'm just gonna lay this right down and I'm gonna press it from the middle out. And yes, that did lay very nicely. Yeah, I still got wrinkles on both of them, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and I did notice, um, or I have noticed in the past, though, just because you have wrinkles in the beginning doesn't mean that when it dries, you'll have wrinkles. A lot of the time, it will fix itself, so. Okay. And the wrinkles don't look bad. Okay, so yes, instantly wrinkles, but they're not, um, it's not, it's not too bad. Yeah. And I'm just kind of pressing it down and really trying to make sure that the wrinkling is at a minimum, but still it's that vintagey look. I like it. Mm -hmm. I think it looks good. Yeah, I'm almost a little worn. I like it. <laughs> 
you know, and I was, I, the, the crafter brain that I have, I had, had all sorts of ideas on this guy. You can, if you want to step it up and make this more of a th more 3D sign, uh, what you can do is you can buy the magnets um, that are at the Dollar Tree. And you can apply your magnet to the bottom of your frame here. And then you can attach that magnet. Um, you just have to make sure that it's under the bevel so that it's flush. So that when you turn your sign over, um, you're not going to have anything um, offsetting that frame. So you can set a magnet here and then you can put a magnet on a bow. You can do some greenery and glue that onto the magnet. And then you will be able to attach that magnet there, have some sort of 3D um, effect with a bow or the greenery. And then when it's time to turn the frame around, you would just pop off that bow, turn it around. It has a, a, a magnet on the other side and you can attach another um, 3D. So that's an option that you have there. Okay, so this is now ready. And my sign is pretty much dry. I love that really raw look there. So now I'm just going to apply some glue to the back of this frame or to the underside of the frame. And I'm gonna glue that on tight. And then I already did this with another calendar page um, the, from that same calendar and I did another canvas. So that one's already applied. So what's gonna happen here is as I'm gluing, I'm going to glue them back to back. Oh, and I like that, that idea, that's cool. Once that's set, look at that. Two beautiful signs in Very one, cool. not having to store. That's Very cool. Look really cool. Okay, now I'm gonna glue it with a glue gun. Jane, a little more modern. Such a cool idea. I honestly don't think I would have ever thought to do six, that. Six dollars mm -hmm. for this project. You have two beautiful signs, six dollars. If you do not um, have the calendar pages and you have a Cricut, feel free to use the vinyl that you have, put down a coat of paint and put a really cool saying on there that has to do with Thanksgiving on one side and Christmas on the other. That way you can flip flop it. And then you could also do um, two, two more signs for other holidays, Valentine's Day on one side, St. Patrick's Day on the other. My, my only problem with a reversible signs is getting them when, when both seasons are done, getting it back into the right seasonal box <laughs> in the garage. So whichever one comes first. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, these are gonna need to dry some more. This one's getting there, but it's not quite ready. But all I'm gonna do once they're dry is glue these canvases together so I can flip it back and forth. And then I am trying to decide on if I want to just paint around the tops or if I want to add some kind of ribbon or something maybe to go around the frame. Yeah, I was trying to decide what accessories to put on mine, and I was like, eh. I was going to figure it out before I saw them put together, so yeah. we'll see. Once they're done, I'll see what I want to do. <laughs> uh, if you have any pieces that are kind of hanging off or really close to the outer edge, feel free to just snip that off so that you can make that all hide in between the, um, yeah. the frame. So now I'm just going to apply the glue. And we'll be done. Mm -hmm. And then when I display them, I have these cute little picture frames. For me, so I'm actually not going to be putting anything to hang mine. I'm going to just be popping on this guy to display like right on a table or something. So nice. <laughs> I'm just going to let this guy dry over here on that. All right. First one is done, but it is wrinkly. So yeah, my hands are wrinkly too. It, I don't know. I like it, especially with the design he did. It's kind of vintage already, so I'm digging my fall sign a lot. <laughs> I'm hoping some of the wrinkles will come out as it goes, but we'll see. I can't believe how awesome this sign came out. I'm telling you guys, this would have cost like, I don't even know, just for one of these signs. At Kirk, this looks like a sign from Kirkland. Yeah, it would have been like 40 or $50. I know, this is just 
So I was watching some really cool uh, Kirkland's dupes today on a on another YouTuber that I really like, and I'm just I love blown doing that. Away. He did all Dollar Tree dupes, and I I wouldn't have known they weren't from Kirkland's. It's amazing what what you can do. It's very important as you start to glue this to the back of the frame that you're very taunt, taunt, taunt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pull it taunt. <laughs> Hot. T A U T hot. Hot. And I'm just going right down. Yeah, that's right. Okay. But in pieces. You don't want to do the whole frame at once because um, your glue is going to dry. Going so fast. Yay. Oopsies. All right, we're just about done. I think we're, well, I'm as done as I can be right now because these need to dry before I can do anything else to them, so. <laughs> okay, there it is. Look at that, completely done. Beautiful sign, even of itself. If you just wanted to do one sign and you didn't want to do a reverse sign, there you go. Yeah, really. But we're simply made local and we don't stop there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to distress my uh, edges and add some like things in the middle, the little 3D stuff. And yeah, mine's going to oh, be. Ryan, I love the vintage truck. So cute. Very cute. Yeah. Okay, so guys, if you uh, were lucky enough to snag yourself, a little wooden truck from the Dollar Tree when those came out. Uh, first of all, pat yourself on the back and congratulate yourself because you won a little vintage red truck. Um, and you can do a lot of stuff with that. So if you want some ideas on what to do with that, those sell out very, very fast because there are just so many things that you can do um, with that uh, truck wood 3D sign. Um, that you'll, you'll just definitely, um, there's a lot of things that you can do with that. So if you want some inspiration and some ideas, we did just do a fall, Halloween, Christmas, uh, Dollar Tree red truck sign. You can find that on our YouTube or um, on our videos on Facebook. We did do a live on that one as well. Yeah, I've gotten lots of compliments on mine. Yes, we did. All, we did so many. I did one um, that is great for fall, but you can switch that right over into Christmas by just switching out what's in the bed of the truck. Yep, so, that was cool. That was a really fun one. I know, a really fun one. I like these versatile crafts. I mean, yeah, mine was totally awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but super cute. And I would get that out every Halloween. Oh, yeah. Definitely a staple from here on out. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I mean, from far away, you're not going to even, no. the wrinkles don't go away. You're not going to be able to tell. And the Christmas side got a little bit more wrinkles, but I'm going to put some, like, greenery. I'm just touching up my Christmassy one because I got mirrors, but this uh, paintbrush dipped in water is kind of pulling them right off, so. That's a handy trick. <laughs> there we go. What did you do, Carrie? I, had, I just had some little like black marks from the um the paint or the ink kind of smearing. Uh -huh. So I just dipped my paintbrush in some just water and kind of started trying to get it off of there and it came right off. So I'm kind of whitening up the white parts that got a little bit of the black ink on them. And it's working pretty good. Awesome. <laughs> I don't think there's much I can do about this one, but that's okay. Now this is going to take some detail work. So. Right. Now I've got, oh, I need another glue stick. Um, I'm just about done with doing this. Then I'm going to attach the two pieces and voila, we're done.
Hold on. I have to say, I think this is the first time I was able to get a whole craft done in one hour. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> in a long time. Um, speaking of really not getting it done in the time, our no carved painted Disney pumpkins, you guys. If you haven't seen them, they turned out so oh, amazing. So we have all had so many compliments. Um, I think, oh, look at that one. <laughs> it's just such a neat idea to not have to carve your pumpkin to be able to paint it and do a specific theme is just such a cool idea um and it's really cool for those kiddos that just aren't able to uh or want to really get in there and touch those pumpkins so check those out um those are up on youtube as well as well as our instagram and our facebook um, really fun tutorial. We had a lot of uh, fun making those inspired, um, those inspirational pumpkins. Uh, so we also have other really fun ideas on our Pinterest board. So I'm all done. I've got two really cool signs, just the way they are, or I can flip flop them. So I'll be able to keep this one up actually all year long. This, um, it says explore, and that's what I love doing. But for Christmas time, I'm going to be able to do this one piece on earth. All right. So key, key note here, make sure they're both the right side. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And now I'm just going to glue them together. And I think I decided on just a little bow for my Christmas one. I, know, I think I'm going to put some uh, 3D pumpkins in my truck. Very cute. I'm applying a lot more glue. I've done a couple different techniques and I'm noticing the some of the wrinkles are coming out. So nice. Are you putting Mod Podge over the top? Because it was already shiny, so I wasn't gonna do that, but is yeah, I did. So I went over it, I put some glue, and then I would go over it with my paper towel and I was working them out. Ah. Um, and that helped. And then I'm doing one final layer over the top to see if that helps. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. Reversible sign. I'll be able to put that on a uh, nail just like that on both sides. I have a really beautiful reverse sign right there. Six dollars. I love it. <laughs> Very exciting. So Taylor is going to go ahead and finish um, applying that Mod Podge to the top of her sign. So that's going to be able to give you some uh, like a sheen. And it's also going to make the sign a little bit more durable. It's going to make it more stiff. So if you want to take it to the next step by applying um, a light layer of Mod Podge to yep. the top or watered down Elmer's glue, that will that's, give you that same Mod Podge effect. That's what, that's what I'm doing. Up. Um, Carrie is going to just apply her two canvases on top of each other once those are done drying. And then that's going to be more of a table sign that you can put into a stand. Um, she could probably put that next to her tiered tray um, that she has. And if you want to know how to make those tiered trays, we've got that on our YouTube channel because we are all just about ready this uh, Sunday to switch our Halloween uh, tiered trays over to yeah, I'm so excited. So we'll be doing that. Um, and then Ryan's going to just dress hers up with a couple 3D pieces. And you'll be able to see these finished projects um, this weekend on our Instagram and our Facebook. So be sure to look out for those. And this will um, be available on our Facebook videos as well as our YouTube channel, if you would um, like to see that. Oh, we just had one last question. What were the sizes of the calendar? So they were a little bit bigger. I think they were about 11 by 11. Um, the canvas that um, I bought was a 12 by 12 and it didn't go all the way to the end of the canvas. So I'm guessing the calendar size is about 11 by 11, but you can cut that down and know that you don't have to use the calendar pieces. You can use um, any scrapbook paper and apply vinyl so uh that looks great but this is the 12 by 12 <laughs> carrie did eight by tens and yes. i believe um the wood boxes that zach made are um probably about 12 by 12 or 11 by 11 there so i think they were um 
a, they were probably just about an 11 by 11 or maybe, yeah. Yeah, or a 10 by 10 maybe. I think they might have been 10 by 10 because I had to cut mine down. Pretty yeah, fast. I had to trim mine a bit. Oh, okay. So 10 by 10 uh, will work out as well. So there you have it, everybody. We hope you enjoyed um, this evening. We're so sad we won't be crafting with you next week, but we will be in Utah, in Salt Lake City, um, just doing our best to keep our small little business strong and thriving because our business is stronger than 2020. So we're gonna go put ourselves out there. We're gonna take our vendors uh, to the public and really share all of their amazing products. So if you, um, are new or want to join us, please head over to simplymadelocal.com. Use um, code HANDMADE. That's going to get you 30 days um, of a free premium membership where you'll be able to put on a ton of products. And if uh, that is something you want to do, I would suggest doing it now because we're going to have a lot of eyes on Simply Made Local come next weekend. So really exciting stuff. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting us as always. And we'll see you back here uh, next week on Thursday, every Thursday here on Facebook Live. Thanks, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you. <laughs>